hello guys welcome to another reading welcome back if you're new or returning so i was getting ready to go off to bed but i decided i have a little bit more energy left to squeeze out one more reading and the sign that we will be doing a reading here for will be for the sign of which one is the one that i'm being guided to right now let me see I don't know why, but this one keeps calling to me. Okay, this is going to be for the sign of Taurus. Hey, Taurus. I don't... That's very interesting. I'm actually a little bit frightened to tell you the truth. Because um, I'm a Taurus myself, and I don't really know if I want to see my... I don't know if I want to... I'm ready to see this right now, but let's just do it, Taurus. All right, so let's see here what Spirit wants to tell us about the person that we're connecting with. This, I could also be speaking to your cross watcher or anyone that has Taurus in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising placements. So at this time, Taurus, regarding the person that you feel an attraction to, person that's on your mind, the person that you're interested in, person that you're thinking about or could be in separation with what does spirit want to tell you about this person this situation or connection the first row will be you the second row will be your person now if you're a cross watcher feel free to assign the roles as they fit flip and reverse the rows as you deem fit okay let's just go ahead and get started here for taurus if you guys need a personal reading i am available just hit me up by email my email will be in the description box below this video okay so let's take a look here for taurus okay taurus i am getting here you are <laughs> four of pentacles to the ten of pentacles first thing that came to me is you are holding back maybe your desire for a long-term relationship with this person you're holding back your feelings you're maybe acting uninterested but you really are wanting a commitment now i don't know we'll see here if this person feels the same way about you or if they can pick up on that energy but i'm kind of getting here okay the first thing that came to me right now taurus is that you are being a bit secretive keeping this to yourself right now you're really wanting to hold on to this connection because you ah, that's the energy that i'm getting because you feel intensely you 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 have feelings here for somebody you can see i mean you want to be with this person is what i'm getting you're not wanting to let go of this because your feelings are heavily involved you it's either that or you are catching very strong feelings here for somebody but see this isn't just like i'm getting with this queen of cups this is actual real love okay where she gives or he gives selflessly okay where she really or he really loves and adores this person despite how this person may treat him or her this is very selfless very empathic very compassionate very understanding sincere genuine authentic love that you feel for someone completely selfless okay you really want to hold on to this connection taurus or you are seeing yourself falling or you are starting to feel like you know I, I just get here like you just want this commitment ten of pentacles is my commitment card you could also be someone who just recently met someone and you're finding you're trying to find that balance right now like I don't know maybe your feelings are one thing but your mind's telling you another 
okay? But like a part of you is saying, maybe I should hold on, wait and see what happens, not be too quick to leave, maybe giving it some more space, some more time. I don't know. I really want to clarify that for Pentacles, but there's a part of you, it's like saying, I don't really want to let this go. Or I don't really want to let them go yet. You know, whether that's because you, um, you can see the, you know, the two of you coming together or back together one day. Okay, I have the King of Pentacles. This can be regarding another earth sign like yourself, another Taurus, but I'm getting also Capricorn Virgo, but it could be any sign. Um, this is someone here who is very stable, male or female. They may have their own business, and you do, both of you guys do, but I'm getting here this person's very grounded. We have... Um, a little bit of a polar opposites here you know opposites do attract but I'm getting here while one of you is more um, maybe intuitive maybe more into feelings the other one is more of a sensor is more into logical um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm getting a little bit that, of that. You're very intuitive at this time concerning this person, Taurus. We have the Ace. Of, yeah, look at your feelings here. Oh my God. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles for this person. That's this thing that's going on between you and them. So yeah, I'm feeling here with you. I mean, this was already telling me the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles was already telling me you see this person as the one or you're really happily engaged or happily involved with someone you have no intentions on letting this person go and you are seeing because you're holding on very tightly to this i mean you know it's like once in a blue moon that this you know someone can pique taurus's interest someone that you deem worthy someone that you feel is worthy of your time your energy you are very picky very selective i know you you're very stubborn Taurus. as i am one you know i definitely i definitely know your struggles <laughs> struggle is real but see with this uh lover card coming through this is not just you know mild interest you have romantic interest here very strong feelings but with this knight of pentacles ace of pentacles this isn't you, you're very you're also being very logical about this you're approaching the situation logically you're looking at what you have what you can offer what they have what they can offer i don't mean just financially i mean you know like where, the way you're viewing this right now is like is it is this going to sustain you know like would it make sense? Some of you, maybe it's because of your hours, your shifts, your, you know, the distance, the miles. It could even be, you know, could you see yourself, you know, could this be your forever person or is this just going to be a short-lived connection? I, I kind of hear you really feel like this is the one for you, Taurus. You have very strong feelings right now. You're thinking about someone heavily but you're not in a rush this i feel like this is for the first time i'm getting this reading here taurus takes their time taurus is a very slow you guys do not jump into relationships okay but you really really want something to get off the ground here but you also feel like you know anything worth having anything worth keeping is is worth the wait you know it is like you don't want to rush this one or this situation i'm getting here you're you're choosing to make the sacrifice needed or required even though it kind of makes you feel a little bit uneasy right now with this knight of pentacles because this knight of pentacles here deliberates on things okay i'm going to take a look here at your person taurus so we don't make this reading too long how does this person feel about you Okay, how does this person see this connection towards you? And I hope they feel the same way, Taurus. That would just suck. It would break my heart if they don't feel the same way towards you. But as a reader, I'm going to be completely honest. 
let's just hope that they feel exactly the same way okay because <clears throat> i really wanted to clarify why you had the four of pentacles it kind of made me feel like or whoever it was i was speaking to maybe it was a cross watcher kind of felt like whoever it was this person was maybe giving up you know they were like fighting themselves not to leave not to give up hope to see the situation differently and think positively not overthink okay so how does this person that Taurus is thinking about right now feel about them oh my god that's kind of cool they feel like they've won the lottery they feel like with you this is a win okay the six of wands like they are proud of themselves they like how things currently are they feel quite good about themselves right now taurus i'm gonna say this person no way We have the same energy coming through the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles. And they have the Magician here. Okay. And then we also have here Deep Transformation. Okay, your person is going through something here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. I have Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Aries, Virgo as well. How does this person, Three of Wands, just flipped over? Okay, they're thinking about making a move. They're waiting here. Okay, your person is really interested. Very interested here. But this deep transformation stuff that they're going through, um, I don't know if this person recently went through a breakup. If they, oh my God, what is going on in your reading? The same energy you had in that row, they have for you too. The Ten of Pentacles. Remember how I told you? You guys had the same two cards. I'm starting to get the goosebumps. My fingers are literally shaking right now. If you guys will rewind, this was the energy that had me going at the beginning of your reading saying, you think you found true love. You're in love with somebody and you want to make a commitment your heart is in this and they have this as well they want to give you something here taurus you're connecting here with someone who can't this is just like i don't know maybe they're consulting with a friend okay they actually are a little bit intimidated or a little bit afraid do they also kind of feel like they need some time some space they like to take things slowly they don't know here if this you know they're quite certain they want to do this but there's a little bit of a heavier energy attached to them whether they've just recently gone through a breakup a heartache a disappointment a loss okay emotional financial physical it could be anything but i feel like there is this heaviness attached to this person they don't know if they are you know capable of you both are both of you guys are wondering here if you guys are both capable for both ready for something so um deep transformative um because they don't feel like this is just going to be a fling with you like they're wanting to date you and they they feel like this thing with you or come back to you or reconcile with you whoever it is you're connecting with they see long term okay they are looking at what you know they're if you if you could see here they're planting seeds here for long term okay they actually feel like this situation but they're really yeah they have the hanged man your person is deep in thought right now it could be an aries a libra and okay we have the emperor justice and the eight of wands taurus you have someone here who's really conflicted at this time it could be someone who was involved or is involved with someone else something here is ending for them it could be dealing with a virgo i think i kept saying that earlier too there was like something terminating and they have that but you have a message coming in they're going to be reaching out to you taurus or they're thinking about this right now but they do still have the hangman they're maybe wondering here if you will respond 
um, if you will reciprocate if your feelings here are mutual because they do have some confusion about this right now but the way they feel you is like oh my god this could actually like be the next like the last person I ever date you know I could I could this could be my wife or this could be my husband okay but there's something about this person also loving their freedom their independence is something about their independence their freedom that they love that they don't want to give up this person is very free spirited yeah they have the moon they have the two of swords i want to get i want to close up your reading here they have judgment here okay and the two of swords i told you guys they are really at crossroads right now trying to figure out what to do next but they're almost ready for a second if this person's been heartbroken before and they've just been serially serial bachelor serial bachelorette just casually dating not sure what it is that they wanted just kind of you know passively looking but never really committing never thought they would commit this person is thinking about coming out of whatever current state they were in to really move in your direction to have something permanent something stable something long lasting with you okay because they do feel like you are the person like they they met the person that they they want to be with let me see here um you're reading here taurus we have this person could be someone that has hurt your feelings someone here who may have damaged the connection here look at this we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate taurus we have forgiving and learning it could have been you that hurt this person i told you guys you guys are very very attracted to each other at this time pay attention to the red flags okay um wow past life connection you have met the person you've known each other before that's pretty intense taurus someone here wants to reconcile with you someone wants to speak to you and you guys have a oh, wow you guys are recon there's something very spiritual about this union or reunion okay we have religious factors you know something about this connection and we have a honeymoon um you know your love life is influenced by your spiritual path <clears throat> um and I, I just pulled the sun so there's a there's something really positive about this and saying positive i don't know what is going on it just says stay optimistic about your love life trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. Some of you guys are losing hope and you don't probably believe a word I'm saying. <laughs> I don't believe it either, but that's what came out to us. This reading was awesome. Okay. <laughs> um, reach out to me for a personal like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for your time. Hope this video helped. I'll see you guys in the next one or in your personal. Bye guys.